Welcome back to the I It's me, Vincent, and Marvel Studios has announced their projects have been delayed, pushed back. In this video, I'm going to explain why there is delays, Kevin Feige's explanation, and just a quick update. But first, if you can subscribe, like, and comment, that would mean the world to me, and let's begin. So Kevin Feige explained to us why Marvel projects like Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness has been delayed and why everything else has been pushed back and it's what Feige had to say about it. The date changes, all the movies well, moving. The question, the question should be why did you announce it today when I was about to do a red carpet and talk to you? That's the real question. I don't have a good answer for that. Um, but I, I mean, no, it's production, production uh, shifts and changes and because we have so many uh, slots, we can just shift slots. So we're not, so all the Marvel slots are the same, we're just shifting the movies coming out. And, uh, and yes, Strange has moved six weeks, so instead of there being uh, three months between Marvel movies, there'll be five months between Marvel movies, and I think that we can all handle that. So yeah, Kevin talks about production and the whole do um, domino effect. So now that we know that, let me update you on the Phase 4 slate as it is, as of this recording. Okay, so we know that Turners is coming November 5th, 2021, Spider-Man No Way Home coming December 17th, 2021, but in 2022 and 2023, that's when the whole shift of the whole Marvel slate, th that's where it occurred at. So Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness get pushed back from March 25th of 2022 to May 6th of 2022. Soul of the Thunder pushed back from May 6th, 2022 to July 8th of 2022, and Black Panther Wakanda Forever pushed from July 8th to November 11th of 2022. Kicking off 2023 is Captain Marvel 2, aka The Marvels, um, that's coming out February 17th of 2023, pushed back from November 11th of 2022. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 coming May 5th of 2023, um, that's the new project that's staying there. And I'm at the Wasp Quantumania pushed from February of 2023 to July 28th of 2023. Okay, now what about the other projects like Captain America 4, Blade, Fantastic Four, Deadpool, Nova? Well, okay, this is my assumption. So this is not confirmed. This is only assumption, my theory, my thoughts. The four dates currently are February 16th of 2024, May 3rd of 2024, July 26th of 2024, and November 8th of 2024. Also adding that there's also one more date in 2023, which is November 3rd of 2023. So now that we have five untitled Marvel dates as of this recording, I assume that Blade would probably go and take that November 3rd, 2023 split because it would come after Halloween, so Halloween could potentially help hype up that movie. That February 16th of 2024 though, could go to Captain America 4. However, I have another release date for that. So if it's not Captain America 4, then I assume it's gonna be for Deadpool 3. Then we go to May 3rd of 2024, and I believe that they'll go, that will go to the Fantastic Four. And I think that July 26th of 2024 will also go to that November, oh sorry, to that Nova project. Now I'll explain why I added Nova and Fantastic Four in those dates. November 8th of 2024 is what I thought could be another date for the Captain America 4 um, movie as it's after the presidential election and this movie could hype it up or the election could even hype the movie up so it can go hand in hand in a sense. Now I added Nova and Fantastic Four because there was a report that Fantastic Four and Nova will go into production in 2023. Now from the report it seems like it's filming that was starting in 2023. So imagine if they start early 2023, they can make it for those two summer release dates. Plus that May 2024 is that big release window for movies and Fantastic Four would fit there and Nova would go perfectly in that July slot. Now what about the X-Men? Here's my theory. There was a report early in 2021 where it stated that Marvel is thinking of doing an X-Men Disney Plus series. Then later on, there was a report on Mutants Project being in active development for a film. Now for me personally, I think it would be a better choice for Marvel to do an X-Men TV series. And here is why. According to Bounding in Comics, they reported that Marvel was in active development where they reported that Disney executives were caught 
of God with the Disney Plus viewership for the old 90s X-Men animated series and they are considering developing a live action series with a huge budget that aims for a similar vibe. So that's what I think it would be better for them to have an X-Men movie. No, better for them to have an X-Men series than a movie because they could do what they're doing with She-Hulk, extend the episode count. She-Hulk, She-Hulk has a 10 episode count. For all they know, they can do a 12 episode series for the X-Men Disney Plus series and they can do multiple seasons of that same show. They can even end the first season with an X-Men team that is formed. For all you know, that mutant project that is an active development, um, active development could potentially be this Disney Plus series. Obviously, I've not forgotten about Power Pack. Last time I spoke on Phase 4, I talked about us seeing a Disney Plus series for Power Pack. As Kevin Feige spoke in an interview like two, three years ago, even before maybe, he mentioned that the Power Pack, um, and he stated that he would love to make a Power Pack movie based on the fact of children seeing with Ant-Man franchise becoming that. So I could see a Disney Plus series or a movie expanding these characters. Now, even at that, I spoke last time about a rumour of a fourth Deadpool Deadpool movie as well as the rumors say that they're writing the fourth Deadpool movie for Marvel Studios alongside the third Deadpool movie so maybe when Marvel releases their 2025 release window we could potentially see a February 2025 or maybe Power Pack a mutant film in that big May slot maybe that Deadpool 4 in the July slot and we've heard rumors that Shang-Chi 2 is in development so maybe that November slot could be for Shang-Chi now, these are all potential 2025 release, and I've, I've just stated the months. I've stated February 2025, May 2025, July 2025, and November 2025. I talked about how, I talked about how Power Pack could be in that February, Mutants in that, um, in that May if they decide to do a Mutant film, um, Deadpool 4 in that July, and Shang-Chi 2 in that November. But keep in mind that I did say that it's better for Marvel to do a um, 10 to maybe 12 episode X-Men series on Disney Plus, so then maybe that May slot could go to something else, maybe that Shang-Chi 2, or maybe Deadpool 4 slave. Before I say goodbye, I would like to say an apology for not releasing any new videos for these two whole months. I know this is my first video since then, so apologies. I can't wait to react to Hawkeye and give your and my thoughts on it. I can't wait to react to whatever Disney Plus they have to offer. Stay tuned for those videos. Now, the question for today is, what do you think Marvel will release in 2025? Remember that I just used the month because I'm just using um, the other the other kind of data from 2024's release date. Maybe I'm using it accurately in the sense that they will do a February release date, a May release date, a July or an or August, no, July or a November release date. Even if they want to put a September release date, that's fine as well, or an October release date. That's fine as well, but I'm just using um, a few knowledge from the 2024 release date to, you know, to just go, go like that and say that there'll be a February, a May, a July, and a November 2025 release date. I assume. But what do you think will release in those four 2025 months? If those are the months that Marvel decide to pick, and what do you think will be the 2024 lineup? I would like to know your thoughts. And thanks so much for watching this video. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.